In this tutorial, we're going to look at the edge subobject level of the edit poly modifier. So let's go ahead and make a plane. Um, go to our modifier tab here, edit poly from the list. Open it up and select edge. So just like the vertices, there's a few things you can do within this new edit edge uh, panel here. The first is we could remove vertices so I could or edge so I could select a few edges, hit remove, and it just removes it from the geometry. You can also extrude. So again, if you see the settings button, I would always select the edge that you want to extrude or multiple edges and then select the settings button, which will open up the settings dialog. You can then change the height of the extrusion or the base width and that will extrude that edge. One thing I like to do is select uh, like a loop, for example. So I'll select that one, um, come over here, hit loop and then hit extrude and that will extrude like a whole rib of the surface basically. So that's the extrude. There's also weld. So if I had two, um, let's say I delete, let's say I delete um, those two. Let's say I want to weld these two edges together. I can select those edges, hit weld, and then if you toggle this up, as soon as it gets within that threshold, it'll weld those edges into one. So that's all joined together now. You can also chamfer edges. So I could select some edges, hit chamfer, change the values of that chamfer. And just like uh, vertices, you can do open or closed and change some other values here. Of course, when you're done, you hit the checkbox. Um, and another thing you can do is bridge. So if I select uh, two edges that are across from each other, like across an opening, and you know I can move these up, for example, I can then bridge with a new polygon between those edges. So I can select this bridge, and that will create a new polygon that bridges those two edges. You could choose the number of segments that you want to include in that bridge. Um, and a few other things you can change as well. Uh, the final thing I want to show is the connect. So let's say I have two edges here and I want to draw a line between them. I can use the connect option. Under the connect you can actually choose a, any number of segments to use to connect. You can also choose how far or biased to one side or another it is. Um, and so, or even all of them um, to one edge or another. So that's kind of neat commands you can use within the connect edges box. Um, the last thing here is the create shape and that just basically makes an edit spline out of whatever uh, edges are connected so are, are part of the geometry. So if I select all of these edges and hit create shape, you can either create a smooth shape which is going to be really kind of funky um, or a linear shape which basically just takes all these edges and makes an edit spline out of them. So if I say linear and say OK and then I hide, let's say I right click and hide this edit poly, you can see it just makes a wireframe, basically makes an edit spline out of all of those selected edges. So that's kind of a neat command of the edit edges that you can do.